or this here town ain't big enough for the two of us. Why don't you guys go on ahead? We'll meet you there. Besides, man, you're making me look bad. See you later. Uh, you just take care of your driving, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Peter, come on, not here, okay? Not here. Okay, 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 okay. okay. all that noise. It's Cousin Phoebe and Peter. Come on, in the house. Let's go, okay? Can I play with Marty and Marsha? They're doing homework, Carrie. Put that rabbit back in the house. wonder where they're going. Hmm. Who cares? You know, I don't get what she sees in him anyhow. He's so stuck on himself. Want me to see your eyes? <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh. Sometimes I look at myself and I'm not even sure it's me. It'll grow. Not just my hair. Maybe. I'll let it grow out really, really long and get it permed. <laughs> Where did you get that thing? I think it's still alive. Ew! Attack of the cat! Oh, no! I have to give it back. <laughs> I know. I know why you want to let your hair grow. Because you think you look like Phoebe the cat. <laughs> oh, I think she's gross. Uh -uh. Peter likes it. I have to leave early tomorrow, so give yourself enough time to pack a lunch in the morning. Carrie, bed. Ten minutes. What have you done to your eyes? <laughs> Peter kiss Phoebe two times. Just be nice to have someone. Go to all the dances. Have something to do every Saturday night. I think Phoebe's lucky. Is Laura leave for school yet? No. Where all these come from? It's only three. Careful, Ralph scratches a little. Ralph? Yeah, see that's Ralph, that's Fred, and that's Sissy. You may end up with a lot of babies. Babies? Oh, no, no babies. You're going to have to give two of them back. Stephen, please don't encourage her. Well, I'll put up a divider in the pan, and that way they'll be separated. Fine. Hi. Hi. Cute, aren't they? Hi. You know, they did have babies. I want them all to be brown like Ralph. Well, in my experience, the tall rabbits always get the girls. How do they make babies? They mate. Well, how? Well, they make love. And then six weeks later, the babies come. How do they make love? Do rabbits kiss? Carrie, you are one weird kid. Did you ever see chickens kissing? I didn't say chicken, I said rabbit! Carrie! Carrie! Neanderthal man and the cat woman. Let's go the other way, okay? What for? Come on. Are you guys going to come? I don't know. It's up to her. What do you mean? What do you mean it's up to her? If you, if you want to go, go. Hey, uh, what'd you do to your hair, little cousin? Yeah. Leave her alone. <laughs> you're always teasing her. It's, he doesn't even know you're alive. Now, come on. Each of these subjects is part of what we're going to be calling, in this class anyway, experience of adult living. Maybe. Each of them requires a choice, a decision. Now look at the list. Tell me, which one of those subjects do you think is going to come up a little sooner than the rest? Any ideas? How about sex? Yeah, yeah, like, like where and when. <laughs> 
Let me try a little experiment. I'm going to say the word sex. Say the first thing that pops into your mind. Bruce? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Jason, you got a better idea? Uh, Come on, sex. Please? Please, okay. Give me another one. Come on. Uh, Come on, sex. Problems. Good. Jackie? Sex. Love. Love? Give me another one. Pressure. Pressure. Elicit. Sin. Sin. Another. Scared. Okay, Michael. The pill. Uh, another one. <laughs> Sex. Come on. Movie. <laughs> Lauren? Uh, kissing. Okay, give me another one. Close. Good. Okay, Scott? I don't know. Come on. Well, I don't know. Come on. <laughs> Sex. Uh, no, you know. Confusing. Confusing. Uh, it's confusing. Confusing. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Listen to what we got here. We got the pill, we got movies, we got scared, confusing. Getting a lot of messages, aren't you? You get them from television, you get them from advertising, you get them from your parents, you get them from religion, you get them from your own bodies. Sorting out those messages takes a lot of thinking, a lot of talking. Yeah, but some things you just can't talk about. You, you just have to feel it. Ooh, gotta feel it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> One million. One million. That number represents the number of teenage girls that will be pregnant this year. Unless you start to think and take responsibility for decisions about your own sexuality instead of just feeling it. That number breaks down to about two out of 20. It means two girls in this class could be pregnant this year. Um, those of you who'd like to be pregnant this year, would you raise your hand? Go ahead. Did you get your dress for the prom yet? Oh, I picked it up yesterday. Is it gorgeous? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dumb football scholarship. I hope he doesn't get it. Why? It's for a school in Denver. He never said anything about going away. I've been working like crazy to keep him up on his assignments. I did a whole English essay. Denver for sure? I don't know. He says maybe. I thought we'd start college together. I was counting on it. I'll die if he leaves. What are you gonna do? Sunday's his birthday. I'm gonna throw him a party. Maybe a cookout or something. You wanna come? Yeah. Would it be okay with Peter? Listen, why don't you make him your double layer chocolate cake? Okay. And then maybe you wouldn't mind giving me a hand with the rest of the food, you know, maybe help me set it up or do a potato salad or something? Uh-huh, I see. Please, I'll make it up to you, I promise. Okay. Okay. That was great cake, really. Listen, have a good time, okay? He loves the party. Come on. Wish me luck. Party, big deal. It's always a hook, right? You know, 
Phoebe wants? Someone to drive her to school, take her to her parties. She doesn't even care what I want. When I'm out on the field, she cheers. My dad cheers. They don't know what it's like. Your dad must be proud. Right. Having a beer with his good buddies. But I make one mistake and he's on me. I know. What do you know? How you feel? You do? Sometimes when you're down, when you've lost a game or something, you go and you sit alone in the bleachers. I see you. When? Lots of times. You go and you sit alone and you think about things. Well, I just like that. When there are things that I can't tell people. You mean you just sit there and you watch me and you didn't say anything? Cold? Don't be so shy, okay? You're a sweet kid. Sweet 15 and never been kissed. I don't mean by kids. I mean really been kissed. gonna kill you if she sees you dressed like that. He might want me to walk to school with him. Who? Peter. Oh, don't hate me. It's, it's just we're sort of going together. Going? Uh-huh. Fine. Walk with whoever you want to. about love is one thing, but sex, uh, that's crazy. Sex happens because you're in love. Well, sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Let me ask you something. How does the fact of talking about sex, about your concerns about sex, about your fears, about the fact that you're not ready, about pregnancy, about contraception, how does the fact of talking about those take away love? rather than somehow bring you closer together. So planned if you talk about it, it's, it's like planning to lose your virginity. What are we supposed to do? Call a girl up for a date and say, by the way, come prepared. <laughs> <laughs> that may be a hard thing to do, but it's a lot harder having a baby to feed, change, and take care of when you get home, like I do. And having to decide between buying a box of diapers and some lip gloss because there's never enough money for both is a real bummer. Talking about sex is hard. It was a lot easier just thinking, oh, it's never going to happen to me, like I did. But that was a really big mistake. Last week, Mr. Fenning said something about how two girls in this class could be pregnant this year. And I guess I could be counted as one of them. So, we don't start talking and making some responsible decisions. One of you might be the other. Hi. Is this what you want in? It's fine. Hey, great cake, really. Why didn't you tell me how stupid I looked? I did.
want to sit someplace else? I don't feel very well. I feel really sick. I... Wait! I... Marsha's here. You know, I got kind of worried. No phone calls, no visits. Not even away from the window. I'm sick. It's been three weeks. What'd the doctor say? Is it mono? That's mono. It's gonna be really hard catching up in school. Did he ask about me? Who? Him. No. How's you been with Phoebe? Same as usual. Look, what do you care anyway? Because I'm trying to figure out what happened. Maybe he ignored me because he didn't want to hurt Phoebe. He was waiting for the right time and I ran before he could explain. Explain what? You know, you never even told me what happened at the party. He wouldn't understand. You keep saying that! It's between Peter and me. Since when is the conversation with Peter Matthews such a big secret? Since when is anything such a big secret between you and me? Do you have a crush on Phoebe's boyfriend? Are you still having that stomach crud? Aren't you eating anything? I'm just nervous. I have to talk to him. I wish you'd just forget him. I can't. Why? Because I love him. How can you love somebody you hardly even know? You don't understand about love, okay? Well, if it makes you act so crazy and get mono, I don't want to. I didn't have mono. Oh, excuse me. Flu. Marsha, I didn't have the flu. Then what was wrong? I think I'm pregnant. I want to tell you a hundred times. I don't believe it. I thought you'd hate me if you knew. Since when do I hate you? Did I hate you when you knocked out my first front tooth with the sand shovel? Are you sure? I think. I mean, it's not just... You know, I've been getting these cravings for these strange foods. What strange foods? Like banana sandwiches. Come on, we've been eating banana sandwiches all our lives. With mayonnaise. Are you going to tell him? I have to. He'll know what to do. You can't just walk up to him and say a thing like that. I have to. But what? Anyway, I never meant for it to happen. I don't 
understand how we could have been so close. And he doesn't love me, Marsha. I'm scared. Well, maybe we can do something. Uh, Lori McIntyre? Try not to be nervous. First, let's talk about the procedure. We'll do a urine pregnancy test today, and we should have the results Saturday. If we need a double check, we'll do a blood test and an exam. But let's say that you are pregnant. Have you thought about what you want to do? No. I just don't know. I guess this pregnancy wasn't planned. It, it just happened. You never talked about contraception with your boyfriend? I love somebody. And I was afraid to say no. Is that somebody here with you today? Well, he wasn't afraid to say no, was he? Let's go over what choices you'll have if you're pregnant. If you're against abortion under any circumstances, you'll continue your pregnancy and make a decision whether you want to keep it or give it up for adoption. If you think that abortion is a personal decision made with the help of your doctor, we're here to help you. Talk it over with someone. If there isn't anyone, I'm here. Okay? Yeah, okay, thanks. Come on and we'll... Uh, do the test now. This would be a lot easier if you could talk. What's a big rush? I'm going into town next week. We could go in together. It's been a long time since we've had lunch and talked. Me too. <laughs> I can't. I started a project. I have to finish it. You look so different since the flu. So serious. Your hair is growing out. Mom. Hmm. Do you like being a woman? What kind of a question is that? I mean, you know, taking care of the house and us and stuff. I love you. There's nothing more important to me than the two of you. I love you. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's moments like these I realize how fast you're growing up. If you two ever want to talk, I'm here. I want to talk. Okay. <laughs> What's mating? Do rabbits kiss to make babies? If you kiss a boy, do you make babies? <laughs> oh, honey. I get the picture. <laughs> and you? I gotta go. Bye. No, Carrie. You can't get pregnant by kissing. Marcia? <laughs> You were lucky this time, Lori. Not? <laughs> I think that now you understand the seriousness of sex. You know the choices. It's up to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 I, I can't believe it. I know. <laughs> I just forgot. I'll see you. Listen, uh, I wanted to help you. I swear I did. So did you take care of it? It's all right. There's nothing for you to worry about. I mean, how could you expect me to act? You made a mistake and I'd be oh, stuck for the rest of my life? Wait. I made a mistake? 
Look, a girl has to be smart. I just didn't know. You're a good kid, I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you. How do you expect to do that, Peter? Well, how'd you like to go to a show with me Saturday night? Uh-huh. What about Phoebe? Your hair looks nice this way. You know how to take care of yourself. Sure, I don't mind going out with a freshman. So, it's a date? No. What do you mean, no? I lay awake nights thinking about you. You were so great. You were something special. But it isn't true. Just where do you come up acting so righteous? You gave me the big come on, remember? You weren't so innocent then. How about if I just spread it around a little bit? You wouldn't like that very much, would you? I did a really dumb thing. But I did it out of love. Now I know that love is something more. If you say one thing to anybody, I'll tell them Phoebe cheats for you. That won't be good for your scholarship, will it? I'm not finished with you yet. I'm finished with you. Let go of her arm. Beat it, Shrimp, before I wipe up the ground with you. I said let go of her arm. I'm a black belt. If you were a black belt, you'd probably wear it around your knees. Forget it. It's not worth it. I didn't know you were a black belt. Well, I'm not. I don't even take karate. <laughs> Thanks. No, I was gonna. <laughs> Anytime. What's going on out there? Uh oh. You didn't. They didn't. <laughs> this? A neighborhood project? <laughs> what are we going to do with six more rabbits? No problem, Mrs. McIntyre. That's right, Stephen. They're all yours. <laughs> ¶¶ <laughs>